Nope, it's not a beer commercial. Today we are talking Clydesdales. I'm here at the Ollie Farm and we're going to be finding out all about these. Hey, how's it going? The Ollies are world-renowned Clydesdale trainers. They've exported over 300 horses to the United States alone, and a few of those have made it to the Budweiser team. Well, I guess I started when I was 10 or 12, something like that was the first wow. with uh, Clydes or Clyde crosses, yeah. And then uh, bred some purebreds from there, and then uh, started doing more training and less breeding. It takes a trained eye and plenty of experience to recognize a young Clydesdale with the potential to be a champion. What do you look for in a young Clydesdale that you're going to train? Well, I've used the analogy that we're like a hockey team, like a junior hockey team, when we're looking first for the athlete. athlete and sometimes you compare it to diamonds, they want cut clarity and confirmation. So the guys down states, uh, they want a very nice, fairly tall, I usually try to keep them fairly tall and athletic. They want them black, four white socks and white face. And, and they want uh, confirmation and, and some attitude too that you can work with. You, you like uh, intelligent horses, just like you want an intelligent athlete. Throughout the winter months, these horses are trained nearly every day, and that requires quite a bit of work. So day to day, you know, what is what does the training routine look like? Um, usually, we bring them in, feed them, uh, we uh, start grooming them and stuff, and brush them all out, and uh, it looks a lot better. It probably makes them feel better too. And then right. we usually go over their feet and see if anything needs trimmed up and stuff like that. Cool. And uh, then we, at once they're done eating, we throw harness on them and put them to work and uh, have to haul their own bedding in and their own hay feed and stuff so we do that <laughs> and then after we brush them all down and throw them out for the day and then they kind of get to relax. Heavy horses like the Clydesdale were once used to cultivate farmland across Saskatchewan. They were the original horsepower. Of course, farmers today use modern machinery to grow their crops and Clydesdales are used recreationally. So the next time you see a Clydesdale, don't think about beer, think about Bill and Jack and Rolo who train world-class Clydesdales and how heavy horses like these help shape Saskatchewan.